All right, so let's suppose that we were an insurance company, right? And we know from past experience that 4% of people who buy an insurance package for their $700 phone break their phone. Cool? It's probably higher than that, but apparently only 4% of people complain or try to use their insurance. Right? Insurance companies and gift card companies love it that people forget that they have insurance or that they lose their gift card. So I'm interested in what's the minimum the insurance company could charge and still make money, right? So again, this falls under the idea of, right, there's really only two options from a person's perspective, right? They either break their phone or they don't break their phone. And I'm running all of this from a person's perspective. You guys see that? So I'm going to run this from the perspective of the com customer, even though I'm thinking about the insurance company. So what's the, what's the payout to a customer if they break their $700 phone and I have to replace it at the insurance company? 600 minus, or 700 minus X, so like the variable one line. Good, yeah. I don't know how much I'm gonna charge for insurance, right? So I'm gonna do 700 minus X for this. You guys see that? How about if they don't break their phone? X. Let's see. They're going to be out X, right? Because they paid it. You guys see that? OK. What's the probability of the breaking it item? 4 over 100. And the, they don't break it? Uh, 96 over 100, right? OK. And so I think my expected value from a customer standpoint, so expected value of insurance plan, right, is 700 minus x times 4 over 100 plus negative x times 96 over 100. Plus negative x times 96 over 100. You guys see that? Okay, and at this point I'm noticing what? If I want to, what do I want to set this equal to? What does it mean for the insurance company to make money? So you want to find the break even points. You want to set it equal to zero. Good, perfect. I want to set this equal to zero. Because when this number is negative, right, the insurance company is making money off of their customer. And when it's positive, they're losing money to those customers. Because this is still in the perspective of the person. Yeah, I set this up from the perspective of a person, right? Because there was only break or don't break for options. And so I had to be the, I had to be the person holding the phone. So the zero would be greater than or equal. Yeah, so let's just find equal zero, and then we'll sort out which side it's on. It's going to be pretty obvious that charging more money for insurance, right, is going to make more money for the company. Yeah, explain this. At least in this simple kind of idea. So I think I have 0 is 700 minus x times 4 over 100 minus x times 96 over 100. And I'm looking to solve this, right? So how do I go about solving this thing? You can multiply both sides by 100. OK. Let's clear the bottoms. That's a good idea. And then we'll distribute through maybe a little bit. So I'll get 0 is something like 2,800 minus 4x minus 96x. Did I screw something up, right? No. No. I like how it popped out to be minus 100x. Oh, yeah. And of course, it popped out to be minus 100x. Why did it pop out to be minus 100x? 100% of people are buying the plan. Yeah, right. I'm assuming, right? I started this from a perspective of some guy who bought the plan, right? So 100% of the time, that guy bought the plan. 
right? He spent his atoms. You guys see that? All right, so finish solving this. What do you get? X is 28. 28. You guys see what resemblance 28 bears to the initial problem? <laughs> it's a real make it of it. But it's also the hundreds. I think 28 is 4% of the hundred, or of the cost of the phone. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. That's because 4% of the time I'm going to have to pay out, right? You guys see that? Whoa. Yeah. So. This is relatively simple, right? Because there's only two options here. There's either it breaks and I have to pay out, or it doesn't break and I get to collect their money. It's, it's also uh, 100 minus that, the, or that minus 100 is the answer we had from the previous. Difference. Yeah. Like that's how much profit that made. Yeah. You guys all see that? Yeah. Okay, so. This is what they expect to spend, right? This is the insurance company's cost of this insurance plan, right? It's gonna cost them 28 bucks. Like, every time they sell one of these plans, they expect to shell out $28 to a consumer, right? They don't know which consumer it is because they never shell out exactly $28, right? They only shell out $0 or $700. You guys see that? But I still expect that every time somebody buys this plan, I'm going to give them 28 bucks. You guys cool with that? So, what's the minimum the insurance company could charge and still make money? $28.01. Yeah. Since we don't have denominations of money smaller than that anymore. Yeah. Cool. Any amount bigger than this will be profit, right? So right now, uh, at this level, they're making a penny per plan. That is not a great deal of profit, probably. Unless you're selling awful lots of plans. Cool? Please note, that makes calculating this number really, really important. Because if I'm setting, like, if I'm trying to keep my cost close to the, like if I'm trying to keep my profit margin pretty slim, and I screw up on this, like with the Samsung Galaxies, right? You guys see that? The Samsung Galaxy was really bad for Samsung because they didn't even get to sell an insurance plan, right? So they took no money in and they had to pay out to get people new phones. You guys see that? They didn't sell insurance plans for that plan? <laughs> they did, but it wasn't covered because it's a recall. Okay. So they just got it straight up. So they just straight up have to replace each one. And of course, you know, it doesn't actually cost them 700 bucks or whatever to replace it. But it does cost them a not zero amount of money. And they probably lost a lot of customers too. Yeah, and got a shitload of bad press and yeah. So this number is very important to keep track of. That's why they do beta testing and they should have caught the exploding battery in that phone in beta testing. But they rushed it to market a little bit and everything went to heck. 